Hi everybody, welcome back from summer break. I'm so excited to have you back in the art room. Let's talk about everything you need to know to make this a great year in the art classroom. Ladies and gentlemen, the first rule that you need to know is that when you enter the classroom, you will follow these green arrows. These green arrows help you travel around the room. Please use these arrows at all times. Whether you're getting up to use the restroom, get a supply, or make any movement in the room, even during emergency situations, you always should use the green arrows. The green arrows help us manage traffic of the room. That way nobody's bumping into each other. It is so important that you walk into the art room quietly, slowly, and you pick up all materials that you are asked to pick up. Just like that, that's how you should enter the room. Please don't act like a crazy person. Now that we have that covered, let me show you a little bit around the room. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a room tour. As you followed the green arrows, you probably noticed that there is a area over here where there is books right next to a large color wheel that I painted this summer. This is an area for us to read, have activities on the floor, but it is not, I repeat, not a place where we can create art. However, over here at the rows of tables, this is where the art happens. There are up to three different rows that you might be sitting in. You might be in the red row. If you are in the red row, you can raise your hand right now and give me a thumbs up to let me know that you know that you are in the red row. You might be at the blue tables. Give me a thumbs up if you are at the blue table. Or maybe you are at the yellow table. Where are my yellow tables? Along with a table color, in this case it is the blue tables, you will also have a table number. This one is table nine. I know it is table nine because my bin says so. Let's talk about what is inside your bin. On one side you will see a box of markers. You will also see a bag of crayons. On the other two pockets, you'll notice that one has a sharpener and eraser. The other has two glue bottles and two pairs of scissors. You'll notice if you move your bin underneath, there is a number. This is your table number as well. When you leave the classroom, you need to make sure that your bin covers that sticker and that you can see your table number on the bin. That's how you know you are ready to leave and I will call your table. So now we know how to enter the room. We know how our bins work on our tables, but how do we exit the room? If you look around the front of the room, you'll notice that there is a long, black box that runs all the way down the room. This is actually how we exit the room and I will show you now. When class is over and we're preparing to leave the room, I will call tables either by your table color or your table number and it's your job to push in your stool, follow the green arrows to the black box and wait patiently until I dismiss your class to leave. A couple more things about the room that I think you need to know. We have two sinks in this room, which is awesome to have in an art room because we have so many materials that need to be cleaned. But that's why we have these, to clean materials and for paint. These sinks are actually not for hand washing. If you need to wash your hands, we do have a sink down the hallway near the restrooms. With that being said, please do not use the classroom sinks to wash your hands. I will usually provide you a wet wipe, or I may dismiss you in groups to go wash your hands near the restrooms. All right, let's talk about how we act during class. If I ever say, show me slant, all you need to know is that you need to sit up straight and then track me. You need to find me with your eyes. Let's go ahead and practice that now. Show me slant. Nicely done. Now, what if you need to use the restroom? What if you have a question? Let's talk about how you get my attention in the room. In my room, it is important that any movement, you must raise your hand. If you have a question, please raise your hand. 
If you need to use the restroom, take two fingers, wrap them around. This tells me that you need to use the restroom outside. I will give you a thumbs up and you are good to go to leave the classroom. Another symbol that you need to use is to take three fingers like this. This shows me that you need to get a drink of water. You're feeling thirsty. If you need to get some water, just show me three fingers. Same thing, I'll give you a thumbs up and you are good to go. Any movement you make in the classroom, you need to let me know. It's my job to keep you safe, so it's my job to know where you are at all times. If you need a supply, just raise your hand. Oftentimes, my answer will always be yes, but you have to raise your hand. You have to show me some sort of clue that you need to make a movement or you have a question in the classroom. So whether it be you have a question, you need to use the restroom, or maybe you just need some supplies, please raise your hand. You must let me know what you're doing at all times. It's my job to keep you safe. All right, well, that is all for today. That is what you need to know to make this an awesome year in art. I am so excited to have all of you in our class again. This is going to be an amazing year. I am so excited to have you.